Let's take a look at the new features of the Evolved D theme from Dearborn Public Schools, as well as how to set up these new features. So um, this is the um, custom login page for the Evolved D theme. And when you log in, this is also the custom home page. What we've tried to do is simplify this for the end user so that they can get in and uh, either find and enroll in a course or check out the courses that they're already enrolled in and get the uh, information that they need right away. You'll notice uh, what's different in the latest version from previous versions is one, there is this image display. I'm not calling it a slideshow, but as you can see, you can upload up to four images and it will cycle through them um, in case you have something that you want to highlight in your course and you can toggle this on or off. The other thing that you'll notice that's different from previous versions are these icons across the top. You now have to set up and, and add in your own icons. So um, instead of being stuck with whatever I provided, um, we change that so that you can pick the icons, you can type in the text that you want to, to be displayed, and you can also put in any link that you want. So instead of sending them to the My Home page or a calendar view um, or the badges, you can pick and choose what gets shown here. The other thing that I will point out um, that is an improvement is if you use the social wall course format that's a separate download and install for your Moodle site but what it does is it provides you with a means to have a Facebook like experience with um, uh, posting and a timeline of messages appear so what we've done is we've done some custom styling where we um, highlight attachments um, and, and different elements of the timeline. Um, so we've made it look really nice for you. Um, some minor improvements, we've moved the title of the course down to where the content is. We've also turned on the editing button, um, moved the editing button to where the course content is. It just makes sense to put it where the teachers would be going to make changes. So that's uh, why we moved it down here. You'll also notice that the logo is now um, separate from the title and we have the logo in the upper right corner. You can have a logo and the course, uh, you know, the titles. Um, in previous versions you couldn't. If you uploaded a logo, the logo appeared wherever the titles were. Um, so that was another enhancement. So let's take a look at how you do these custom icons. What I want to point out is when you're in the Moodle.org and you're about to download this theme, under the useful links, I have a more documentation on this plugin. And when you click this, it opens up a Google Doc. Now, any changes that uh, might occur after you've watched this video will show up here. And I basically go through step by step on, on all the different pages of how to uh, um, configure this theme. So if you don't have a clue, you can open up this document and it will walk you through it on how to set it up. And probably the one page that you'll want to pay attention to is the very last one. And I actually go through and show you um, how to configure the four basic icons with the link URL so that you can um, activate that for your theme. So again, we'll go to Site Admin, under Appearance, Themes, Find Evolve D, and we're going to focus on just the icons on the front page. So here is where you can turn on or off the custom front page. I recommend that you turn it on. Here's where you can upload your image that appears on the login page. Here you can toggle the slideshow on or off. I'll toggle it off and we'll see what that looks like. And 
You can upload your four images that are needed. And here we have the icons. So you can choose any of the Font Awesome icons seen here. Copy the name of the icon, paste it in this text field along with um, what you would like the link, the link text and the link URL. You will have to configure this when you upgrade the theme. Um, but you can add into up to eight different icons. As you can see, I turned off the slideshow. It is gone. And now you're, you're left with just the regular icons, the search box, um, and it's all ready for you to go. Hope you enjoy using the theme, and thank you.